Hi everybody, welcome in. Special edition of the United Bank Playbook. Tony Caridi along with new West Virginia basketball coach Darren DeVries. Coach, first off, a very warm welcome to West Virginia and we are thrilled to have you here. Well, thank you. It's, uh, it's great to be here. I know my, my family and I are uh, really excited. Let's talk a little bit about the process to accept this job. Obviously, um, you were much sought after. People knew the name and potentially that you could make a move after the season. Why did West Virginia make sense? Well, I think the biggest thing for me was, um, you know, I'm, I was at a place that, uh, you know, I really enjoyed and, uh, you know, around a lot of uh, friends and family back in Des Moines. So it was going to take something pretty special uh, for, for me to, to, to want to want to make a move and and I thought um, West Virginia had everything that I was looking for and uh, um, a terrific administration uh, you know one of the best ADs in the country and uh, you know, when you think about the fan support the tradition and everything that comes with that uh, uh, everything just made sense and then um, as you begin to, to inquire and look around and, and, and everybody talks about the people and how much uh, um, how supportive they are and, and um, you know everything that comes with that um, Everything just seemed to align and, and uh, uh, made perfect sense to me. Yeah, you've been in this business a long time, and so basketball is a relatively small world. Paths cross at times, and although West Virginia has only been in the Big 12 now for just over 12 years, what was your perception of West Virginia basketball just from afar? Yeah, I, I mean, you knew West Virginia from the, the Big East uh, and the success that uh, that um, had in that league, and then making that transition to the Big 12 as well, and uh, so you. Um, you know, from a, a fan standpoint, from afar, a great tradition. And uh, actually, I had the opportunity when I was an assistant at, at Creighton University. We we played West Virginia in the NCAA tournament. Um, uh, didn't turn out in our favor at that time, but it turned out in, in West Virginia's favor. But so I had a really good knowledge, obviously, with Coach Beeline, Coach Huggins, and and um, the tremendous success that um, uh, they've had here. Yeah, let's talk a little philosophy because when you take a look at your numbers, defense sticks right out there and then the ability to get the ball down the floor. From a philosophical perspective, when you look back on it, who are you, who did you draw from to say this is the way I want to play the game? Well, I had two, two um, incredible coaches uh, that um, I learned from in, in Dana Altman and Greg McDermott. So, so it took a lot of... Um, you know where what I am as a coach and my philosophies as a coach from them, um, and then you kind of mold it into your own personality and things. But uh, you know, going back to the defensive side, especially in the Big 12, you better be able to guard, and and that's uh, uh, that's something that I think has been critical uh, for us um, at, at Drake, and obviously we'll carry that over um, here as well. You have to be able to defend, you have to be able to rebound, and you have to be able to take care of the ball. I mean, those are the three things that are just critical if you're going to win. Uh, and then the rest of it, uh, you know, from um, you know, an offensive standpoint, uh, you know, when you get those stops, you get those rebounds, now we want to run. And uh, our goal on every possession is to try to score in those first 12 seconds. And, you know, with the uh, type of defenses you're going to see every night, uh, you don't want to play against a set defense on every possession. So the more times you can play against a broken defense, the better. Yeah, absolutely. Well, a lot to get into. You'll be hearing more of Darren as the days go by. Thanks so much, and we appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you.